For my 100 subscriber special, I am going to be doing a test on what sugar sources ant colonies like the most. I will be doing it on my chromatogaster colony and a wild colony from outside. Enjoy today's video. But before this video begins, I would really like to thank everybody who has helped me reach this milestone of 100 subscribers. I know 100 subscribers is not that big of a thing and it's not something to really celebrate over, but I've seen a lot of other ant YouTubers do this, so I just wanted to do it too. And also, I know that this video is late and I'm almost at 200 subscribers, but honestly, I was at 50 subscribers like a week, week and a half ago, and I really did not think that I would reach 100 anytime soon, so sorry for the delay. And without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Now here is my chromatogaster colony. What sugar source do you think they're going to like the most? Leave your answers in the poll right here. Now, anyways, since the last time I showed you this colony on my channel, they were at around 70 workers, and now I would say they're at between 85 to 90. Now based on the amount of food that they have been eating, and the amount of mealworms I've been feeding them, they have a lot of larvae. And that means there will be a pretty big explosion in population here soon. Now, I think it's time we give this colony a name. I'm sort of going to be doing it how Ants Canada does it, where he grabs a few names from his comments and puts them in a poll for his viewers to vote on. So leave your name suggestions in the comments and I will be sure to pick a few for next video's poll. Now here you can see me adding all of the sugars. We have honey, maple syrup, sugar water, and brown sugar water. Now look at this ant. She's trying to drink the honey from last time I fed them, but there isn't enough for her to drink. So she looks elsewhere. She sees the brown sugar water and goes straight past it and happily drinks the honey instead. Fast forwarding a bit, you can see one ant on the honey and another ant on the sugar water. Here comes a third ant to drink some of the maple syrup. Now, to me, this seems like they like all of the sugars except for the brown sugar water. Very interesting. Let's wait a little bit longer to see if any more ants come. Now this concludes the first half of the experiment. It seems as though no ants came to drink from the brown sugar at all, which deems that the least popular out of all four sugar sources. Now this is very interesting, because I can't think of why they wouldn't like brown sugar. If any of you know, then tell me in the comment section below. Now, on the other hand, the other three sugar sources each had at least one ant feed from them. Let's go pick a lucky colony from outside my backyard and see if they have the same results. Here. I found a wild Formica fusca colony that I wanted to try this on. I put all four sugars on a piece of parchment paper and put it outside with a rock over it. Right now there are three ants on the sugars and it seems as though they like the maple syrup the best. Now there's another ant that came to join the party. It seems as though this one really likes the normal sugar. Another ant went over to see if the brown sugar was of their liking, and it seems as though it was. And that about wraps up this experiment. The winners of this contest are a tie between normal honey and maple syrup. The Formica colony really liked the maple syrup, while my Chromatogaster colony really liked the honey. Now, my Formica colony did not like the normal sugar, and the Chromatogaster colony did not like the brown sugar. So that makes those two the losers. Now, if you have either of these colonies, all four of these sugar sources would do. Except honey and maple syrup are their favorites. Now while I was outside, I found this small little tree sapling. Now it seems like this tree sapling wasn't doing that great, and I thought I would keep it to document its progress on the channel. I want to thank all of you who have made it this far in the video. 
I appreciate all of the support that you guys have been giving me recently, and I hope that I can keep making great videos for all of you. Now, if you have any suggestions for what I should name my ant colony, again, leave them down in the comment section below, and I will be sure to pick a few. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you all next time. Peace.